Ah, well, that was a short and depressing jog back, wasn't it? Well, assume you guys actually see anything. I mean, I didn't really talk, so I'll probably cut out a lot of it, but... Dear God. Yep, definitely playing a Souls game. Okay, what's out here then? Coffin, stairs... Dr. Manhattan! Hey, how you doing, bro? Nope. Surprise! Oh, come on, that should have been a backstab. I hit him in the back. That's pretty much the definition. Ow! Ow! Stop it. Or a backstab, surely. Let's try that again. Nope. My turn. Ow! Okay, regular power attack doesn't stagger him. Gotcha. Yeah, I gotcha. To inject myself with the. Uh... Goddamn birds. With... Ow! God, you're tracking. Why did it suddenly improve? Yes, thank you, PS4. I know you can't find the network. Nothing in my house can find the network. My router is shite. It's been dying for a while, but it's gotten even worse lately. Still no backstab, but in that case, at least I wasn't actually behind him. I sort of jabbed him in the hip. So that was you know, essentially my own fault for once. Oh god, the birds got a health upgrade. I can't smack them to death in like two hits anymore. Well, that'll never do. That'll never do at all. Get the fuck out, stupid. Wood! Get down from there. Ow! Why that never work when I want it to? Nope. Oh, okay. I expect you to actually hit me from that direction. Everyone's got an upgrade to their tracking all of a sudden. What's going on? Very bizarre. Very bizarre indeed. Just, oh. Well, he's brought his own lantern at least. I can show you the deaths. Yes, I'm over here. That's hat, by the way. I'm going to do some gardening later. Nah, you missed! God damn it, gotta stop smacking them in the hip. Gotta get around the back. I mean, they're a slow enough enemy, they should be. <laughs> okay, note to self don't push R2 before. Ow! Before you finish the uh, releasing circle. Or should you do like a power dodging attack. There we go! Works nicely on the big slow lads. I glitched his lantern into the floor though, that's not good. I'm trying to take that, look funky, like a soul light. Oh, hello. Oh, you calling to your mate, telling him, she's down here, but he just, you know, was a bit stupid and didn't pay attention. And uh, then of course she jammed her hand up his sphincter and uh, it all got very awkward. There's an item, how the hell do I get that? I have to drop down from the rooftop, presumably. A wooden shield. Well, there wouldn't be any shield in this game. Yeah, that's wrong. A crude wooden shield used by the masses who have arisen to join the hunt. Hunters do not normally employ shields ineffectual against the strength of beasts as they tend to be. Shields are nice, but not if they engender passivity. That's pretty much my. That's pretty much been my attitude throughout all of the Soul series so far. Don't find much use for shields, other than, you know, being a, uh. A slightly less likely to get you killed way of trying to parry. I mean, barehanded parries are possible. But depending on which of the games you're playing, they can be increasingly difficult. Well, there he goes. What are you doing with that? Not as if this place is exactly dark. Not right now, at least. I mean, I, I'm wearing like a pocket lantern, so perhaps I'm not the best, the best judge of that at the moment. Hi. Yo. Yeah. Ah, right. Okay. We're in your animation. You weren't actually. Stunned after attacking. Gotcha. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, apparently that didn't count. Well, never mind. Smack you on the buttons, then you're on your way. Blood vials, Mark Two, or two of them. You know what I mean. Or perhaps you don't. Perhaps you've got no idea. Potato, potato, right? Blood vials times six. God damn, all the supplies. I'm, I'm assuming this must be like a. Well, it is a, it is a new area. Each time you go into a new area, you get like, um... <gasps> I've got a top hat. Hmm? Okay. That was... Twirling Vortex of Doom out of nowhere, okay. That was definitely a thing that happened. Good job. Yeah, I got, I got some other stuff as well. I didn't show you. Stuff I bought. Oh, yes. Oh, very yes. Yes, we are rocking this. I like this. This is a good setup. This is a damn good setup. 
Looks a bit more feminine too, actually. No offense, Gascoigne. Nope. 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 Yeah, we're not going that way. I don't feel quite ready for El Gigante just yet. What are you doing? Just staring out mournfully over the city, eh? It's like a... You're trying to get me trapped. Bonk! Is that going to be attacked? No, it wasn't even attacked from behind. That's very peculiar. This is probably actually the best thing Fromm could do at this point. Mess with your expectations, set up what seems like an obvious, an obvious ambush, an obvious trap, and then have absolutely nothing happen. Just to really mess with your head. Speaking of messing with heads, throw some rocks at some people, shall we? It's cathartic. I mean, we may be dressed in a damn pimp in fashion, but... My god, am I going to throw a rock at someone? Uh, I think the doge has already spotted me. I'm trying to clip through its master. Where pathing and AI collides. Nope. Oh, yeah, it knows I'm here. Nope. That's right, Argy. God, the cane is so good. So good for beating up fast enemies. I can't imagine how much of a pain in the butt it'd be trying to um, take out things like the dogs or something a lot slower, like the uh, saw cleaver or something. Like, I don't think you ever get the necessary amount of hits in. I can't see it happening anyhow. Night is... Captain Pastor already... Yep, yeah, Captain Pastor's already spotted me. Nice try. Didn't work though, did it, chum? Take care of your buddy with the torch as well. The torch and the axe. I mean, seriously, this, I know people have already made the Resident Evil 4 joke, but... Ow! Stop doing that! Stop causing me to have without actually touching me with the object you're trying to hurt me with. End of that crap in Dark Souls 2. That's the one thing we definitely don't need them bringing forward into the series. Hitboxes that carry forward even when the animation is cancelled. We've seen several examples of that during the Gascoigne boss fight. Or well, Gascoigne, sorry. I know people get rather annoyed about that. It's not Gascoigne, it's Gascoigne. It's all French to me. Speaking of which, there's a peasant lurking in the wings. Now, can I actually get far enough behind him by hugging the wall to initiate a backstab? Yes, I can. Surprise! I see you there lurking in the wings, waiting to ambush me. That's not on, Chum. That's not on at all. Get more Madman's knowledge. Seems to be getting a lot of this. How is, what even is this? These weird sort of cloth-faced figures. I mean, at first glance, you assume it's like, you know, generic maiden imagery, but... Gigantic mummified wench. As you do. I mean, isn't it usually like a statue on top of those? Like one of these. Rather than an actual person lying on a uh, beer, is it? A pyre? I can't remember the correct term for the uh, the stone slab. I think it's been years since I went to a cathedral. Hello there. You uh, you doing okay? No, he's not angsty yet. Who is this mysterious man? He's a doge owner. I don't like doge owners around here. Get out. Bad doggy. That's a very bad doggy. Yeah. Actually, you know, because the uh, combat system is so fast paced and um, kinetic, the dogs are actually slightly less of a threat in this compared to other uh, titles in the series. Because the big advantage the dogs had have over you in the other Souls games was they were much faster than you. But because the character movement speed and dodge and whatnot have been ramped up so far, it's uh, It kind of takes away their edge, to be quite frank. I mean, you can just avoid them entirely based purely on reflex and respond to their speed with your own. Checking there's nothing, you know, hidden around the corners. Statue of... Darth Raven? Your or Revan, how do you pronounce that? You. I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Oh, God. Of Master Ligarius, 
Hunter that time I encountered an Alfred, it didn't go well. So, we'll Turned out to be a cross-dressing weirdo. Pray might differ. Again, you are wearing a dress already, so perhaps you're more honest than the last one. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? I'm Alfred of the Healing Church. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Ugh. People keep giving me things to set fire to stuff. Yay! Ah. I'm assuming these are, um. Beast hunting yeah, don't care about these. Sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. It's not exactly praise the sun, there but I'll take it. Oodles for us to share. Oodles? Oh, I love oodles. Especially with custard. With that strudels. I always get those confused. You know, the healing I could go for strudel, actually. Fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. Uh -huh. But I have heard that the whole dribbling. medium of blood healing oh, just blood splashed on your face. It's like you were actually dribbling there, love. And that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek I could all in layers. And the church is willing. You should pay them a visit. Okay, tell me about Brennanworth. Old place of learning. No, it's a spider. Two I learned this earlier. Carved out below Yarnum should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. And some dodgy stuff in a crypt. Everything Start injecting folks with it. Can be traced gotcha. Back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood. Abandoned and decrepit, and furthermore, looking for a college in the woods. Woo. College in the woods, yeah. How many of its scholars remain alive? Just one plus a hundred looking for a ticket to college in the woods. Oh, yeah, think about a password. Okay, encounter them, find password, get access to other areas. Gotcha. So, at some point, I need to find my way into a woods, talk to some people, get a password, and then come back and get access. To uh, other stuff. Understood. Understood. Hmm. You know, I'm sure we've actually even come across anywhere that needs a password, to be honest with you. Oh well. Something to consider if we ever do. Perhaps it's in the other direction. That might be it. Do you know that direction that had the, um, the giant monstrosity with the <laughs> ridiculous little hat? Perhaps. Perhaps it's over there somewhere. A place that needs a password. It's probably a good thing we didn't go there then. If you. Whatever is ultimately in that direction requires a password. Look at us, Legend of Zelda, ring it up in here. Perhaps I'll find the Master Swad down here somewhere. You never know. Now, this is very demons, isn't it? This long, narrow stone passage. That had a very demon seal to it. God, more of these bloody statues. These ones aren't covered in bondage gear, that's something. More long, narrow passageways. Suddenly, very sense fortress. Hi there, doggy. Nope. Nice try, Doge. Not today. Sit, boy. Nope. Uh, try again. Try harder. Try the best. Nope. Can I get there in time? No, I cannot. It was a worthy endeavor, but not one that worked out. Or ow. Okay. Note to self: each individual attack tracks separately. With the Doges. Each individual attack tracks towards your position differently. Okay. They won't follow, you know, a continuous line towards your last known position when they initiated the barrage of attacks. Each one causes a recalculation of your position. Okay. You need to keep that in mind, so. You need to keep strafing or keep moving backwards, whichever. No? No hidden goodies? So many disrupt. You know, that's something I have never really understood in prompt games. They often have entire levels littered with destructible items, but it's only very, very rarely you ever actually need to break anything to get anywhere. That's the part that's always confused me, I think. And perhaps that's the idea. Just that way you guarantee... Antidote? Antidote to what? To the poison you just drank, Dr. Jones! But, um... Say perhaps I... Ooh! Touch nothing but the lamp! Perhaps that is the point. Just to keep you guessing in that respect. There's like a bunch of stuff over here as well, isn't there? 
Let's see for the windows. Hmm. Oh. My point just made. Entire rooms full of destructible items with nothing behind them. And then this one room has stuff. Yeah, okay. Let's see what we got in this direction. The town is long abandoned. Hunters are not wanted here. I get the impression that the hunters aren't really wanted anywhere, so... Up yours, really. You and your massages. Old yarn, eh? I just didn't care. Old Yarnum, burned and abandoned by men, is now home only to beasts. They are of no harm to those lives. Turn back, or the hunter will face the hunt. You being the, uh, the hunt in question then, eh? <gasps> Scuttling thing! Smack it, smack it good! Souls games have taught me if you see a scuttling thing, smack it! They'll be goodies. Smack! Nice. So this weird multi-limbed baby face thing is... Damn it. Need to go back up. Back up, I say. Did you get that? Whatever it is. But yeah. I wonder how people who've never played a Souls game would react to seeing that random scuttling creep. They'd probably assume it was like a jump scare or something, wouldn't they? I suppose. Just this random thing that doesn't actually attack you, just scuttles away in the distance. They'd probably assume it's story related or some such, I would imagine. Never knowing that twatting it would get you amazing goodies. Which is a shame when you think about it. Speaking of a shame... The hell are you? Seems to be wearing a giant tea towel on yourself. Nope. Nice ambush. Didn't really work though, did it, Squire? Right, let's try the old R1 tactic. Yep. Striking it roughly about the head with a cane seems to work. I got a radiant blood gemstone. That's nice. Apparently it's coming with me. We're going to have marvellous adventures together. Ah. Oh. Or perhaps not. Let's give buddy. I think that's what would have happened if I'd tried to just walk up and backstab this guy. The other one would have come from behind and mangled me. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah, this one doesn't even drop anything. It was just... It was there purely just to mess with me. To make me make assumptions that I shouldn't have made. In other word. Hmm. Okay. Drop. Is that ledge there? Statue of Confucius. And a low res. Presuming you're not supposed to actually... On the ledge I was standing on in that case, then. Ooh. Damn it. That's probably a shortcut from another area back to this place. Actually, I presume once you get to wherever the boss is of this area, it's probably uh, the bottom of that tower. And this shortcut would, um, yeah, just be a way of getting straight there instead of going through what's presumably an enemy infested mire of blood, disease, and death. Which is actually what's on the tourist information pamphlet for Slough. It's a joke that only people who are very into their literature or no obscure rural English towns are going to get, but even so. I like to mix it up, make sure there's something for everybody. Oh damn, Wolverine came to a sticky end, didn't he? Or a burny end, anyway. Potato, potato at this point. Huh? Goodies! It's mine! Never could have it, it's mine! Yeah, see what I mean? Each time you enter a brand new area, six vials. It's a nice touch. It's just a shame that it caps at 20. I mean, all the stuff... You, I found out what the icon means. Everything you pick up over that 20 goes into your storage box automatically. And every time you die, stuff from your storage refreshes your supplies. So there is sort of a, a bonfire mechanic in that respect. That'd be nice to be able to just sit down at the lamp. And have stuff in your storage box or automatically get transferred. Or have an option to do it manually, even. Rather than having to, uh... So the storage box itself is actually at the mansion in the, uh, in the dream. I see you over there. Something I don't. As long as you're content not to be angsty, I'll leave you, I'll leave you to, uh, your own devices, though. Speaking of angsty. 
rather not fight you in open combat because I still don't know exactly how hard you hit. So instead, sneaky sneaky. And rip out your sphincter. Hmm. I've noticed by the way, your hand seems to like grow when you do that. You have to like slow it down in screen flow and take a proper look at it, but something definitely happens to your hand when you perform a visceral attack. Seems got something to do with oh. I told you not to get out. I told you not to get up. You just wouldn't listen, would you? I assume it's got something to do with um whatever the hell's going on. With like the screams and such. Nobody hiding to ambush me? Really? Again, this is just a game messing with me. Just every now and again, I just have stuff lying out in the open. No ambushes, no tricks, no traps, just just goodies. For someone who uh, took the time to look around the corner. Okay, what we got? Something on that clock tower over there, actually. So we clomping. God, beasts everywhere. Probably Murphy up there, anyway. Who knows, right? You are a Thank you. Oh, fuck. Dodge, escape, flee. I wanted to hang around and listen to him compliment me some more, but... You know, needs must and all that. Piss off. Bloody beasts. And, nope, not today, T-Tile Head. I attempted to backstab you, but again, I keep forgetting R2 actually triggers its own unique running attack now. Which is, uh, it's actually kind of a pain if I run this with you. Considering it's linked to the charge as well. It'd be nice if I could have those separate. Where'd you go? <gasps> Goodies! Please, I can survive this drop! Yeah, quite handily, in fact. Again, damage for fall seems a little inconsistent. I've dropped sort of that sort of distance, or slightly less even, and taken much more damage. I think it depends entirely on whether or not the area you're dropping to is somewhere the devs intended you to drop to or not. It doesn't always seem to work on the same algorithm is what I'm saying. Damage is very weird in that respect. I wonder if it's like Dark 1 or Dark 2 where it's like a flat amount or whether it's percentage based. I mean, I... What, because I stabbed this guy in the dick? So now you must stop me? Seems a little extreme. I mean, he started it. He's wearing a tea towel. So that's not the mark of a deviant, I don't know what is. But yeah, he's inflicting me with some sort of status as well. It's purple and it's got a skull, so I'm assuming that's poison. Antidotes, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, these creatures cause poison. Probably should have figured that out earlier from the fact I got antidotes before walking into the- Whoa! Settle down, chum. In fact, why have you got a chain gun? This is like, I suppose this is steampunk-esque. Even so, I better get a chain gun at some point. Even it eats like my entire ammo supply in a single burst. I want a chain gun. Stop clipping into the floor. With a decent blood tinge stat, that would be amazing. I'm not sure if he can't see me yet or whether... Right, you, follow me, lad. I haven't got time to mess around. In fact, can I get you... Oh, God damn it, man. Not quite fast enough to game shot, alas. Shame. Real shame. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy and all that. Let's get the shiny. Yeah, I'm behind them. Wow. Explosive. You must have set up explosive pots. That's... That's going to prove troublesome, isn't it? Excuse me. Bird creatures. There we go. Very slow to react there. I wonder if that's got something to do with all the particle effects from the gun on screen. Slowing down the AI and such. Could do. Definitely could do. People dead over there. Oh fuck! Nope, not dead, just pretending to be dead. Like the assholes they are. Nope! Not today, Squire. Not today. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, hello. How did I not notice you? Not quite enough time to get around behind them and initiate a charge attack, is there? Perhaps if I could do it, get them to try and do their lunge against a wall, that would stop them travelling far enough forward to 
be out of range and that would uh, stop me having to walk around so far. Maybe that would be possible. I've already got so many antidotes apparently that uh, I can't carry no more. <gasps> Blood tinge gemstone. I can make my gun even stronger. Oh yes. Oh very yes. We like that. We like that indeed. Hmm. Uh-huh. Ah, there he is. Asshole with the chain gun. Look, I'm Why are you in this? Run! Nope. No, thank you. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming group. No idea where I'm going, but just don't want to be shot. They should be underneath his line of fire now, assuming that the Gatling gun doesn't actually move. You good? No. I'll you to follow, but... Don't really need an entourage if it's all the same with you. No oh, fuck! There's creatures everywhere, god damn it. And we now know that the very beginning of your dodge animation doesn't actually have iframes apparently. I was already beginning to move when that creature smacked me. Okay. Good to know, I guess. No idea where the hell I am now. I mean, should I go back and see if I can take out Chain Gun Man or. Should I push forward and, um. Oh dear lord. Engaging what is presumably a boss fight, judging by the giant thing chained to the wall there. Hmm. I'm off tempted to do boss, to be honest with you. I mean, NPCs, NPCs are the real danger in any Souls game. They tend to have a lot more health and uh, maneuverability and nowhere near as many weaknesses as actual bosses, you know? Surprisingly. They're often far more dangerous in that regard. Right. Yes, Ra, you're a monster. I'm, I'm, I'm well aware. You're not going to let me backstab you, though, are you? Right, fine. Nice dodge. Didn't work, but nice dodge. Oh god. Presumably you were an ex-hunter then, were you? Doesn't work when I've got you backed into the wall, though, does it, Squire? Heavy blood gemstone. Why am I getting... Aren't these all, like, upgrade materials? And I'm, I'm pretty sure they're uh, not exactly common, either. I'm just getting all of them. Okay. That's fair enough, I guess. Just drenched in blood. It's an interesting visual way, actually, of telling you how much um, XP you've got on you. The more blood-drenched your character is, the more souls you've got to uh, potentially lose. Ow! Fuck. God, you hit hard. What? How am I... You didn't even perform an attack! How am I poisoned? Oh, fuck. I need to get out of here, don't I? Right, need to get out of here and heal the fuck up. Right, uh... Nope. Not today, Squire. Oh, no, 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 in the corner, not like this. One mistake was all it took. One mistake. God damn it. See you next time, folks.